Hi students, coming to the next topic in database management system is aggregate functions. So what are the aggregate functions? So aggregate functions or the calculations, it's just nothing but a calculations, calculation on a set of values and uh, returns a single value. So those functions you call it as aggregate functions. If you take any function, that function works calculate on a set of values and it returns a single value as a result. And uh, it also ignores this aggregate function, whatever the function you are taken. So that aggregate function ignore null values except count. And uh, it is used uh, it is used with the group by group by clause of the select statement. So if you want to access this aggregate function, we can use group by clause in the select statement select that function name and you can uh, write that query by using the group by clause so let us see different aggregate functions so what are aggregate functions what are aggregate functions so which functions you call it as an aggregate function AVG average, MAX max. So the these words you call it as an aggregate function. So the shortcuts you can use this AVG when you want to calculate the average of a any data, any column. So you just write AVG instead of complete average name. We can use AVG as a function name, average, to find out the average of a given column. And the max, maximum, for maximum you have to use the aggregate function as a max. Min, to find the minimum value, we will use min. SUM, sum, to find the total, am total amount. Count. Count star. So these are the different aggregate functions that are used in the database management system. So let us take one example with the help of the example we will see how these functions will work. So let us take an example. So here I am taking an example employee table. Employee table means the relational table relational name for this table is employee so for this employee you are having the set of fields means the attributes employee id employee name and age city so let me write the values in that employee 1 e001 suppose we take abc as one name and his age is 21, 29 and city is Pune. Suppose employee is 02, PQR is a name and 30 is his age, Pune is a city. Employee 3, element 25, Mumbai and uh, employee 4, Except XYZ and his age is 24 and he is also from city Mumbai and employee 5 is EID is 5 STU and his age is 32 and he is from Bangalore so let me take another field for this is a salary so they are getting total how much of salary so we can work on the uh, this column the aggregate functions will work on the salary 20,000, 30,000, 5,000, 4,000, 
and 25,000. So these are all the salaries for this particular person with employee ID, age and they lived in these cities. So this is a table. Let's work on this uh, aggregate function. The first one is AVG. What this function will do? AVG. So it returns the average of the data values. So it takes the complete data values and it find the average on that. So the syntax for this uh, average is syntax. So just you have to write this select is a statement. Structured query language statement. Select AVG and here you have to write the column name. So always we have to work on the column not on the rows. So the column. So AVG column name from you have to select the table name so this is a syntax for the avg average now let us take one example so this is the example i had taken according uh, with the help of this uh, table i'm just calculating the average select average from the column name the salary so, in this column, we have to find the average salary from employee table. From employee. So, this is a syntax to calculate the average of a given column. So, what will be the output for this? The output is average of salary is equal to how much? 16,800. So, the total average of this uh, column, this table is 16,800. Now, let us take the another example. So, next one is the second one, max. So, what this max function will do? It returns... It returns the maximum value for a column so if you take any table in that table uh, if you the column the particular column in that column a maximum value will return with the help of this max the syntax for this is select max column name you have to enter which column you you want to find out the uh, maximum value column name from table name so example so in the previous table I am going to select maximum of salary from employee from employee table then what will be the output for this so, in the previous table, maximum of salary. So, what is the maximum value here? 30,000 is the maximum value. So, the output is maximum of salary is equal to 30,000. Or else you can write another example like for finding out maximum. You, I'm taking another column. Select maximum of Age, if you take age, age from employee. So then what will be the output for this? So what is the maximum age here? So the maximum age is 32 is the maximum age. So answer is maximum age is equal to 32. The maximum value it will be displayed as an output now coming to the next function so what is the next aggregate function minimum what this function will return it returns the minimum value from a column from a column so the syntax for this is 
just like maximum instead of max you just write the minimum select minimum column name from table name okay then what will be the let like take the example so select minimum of salary so in the column name i am taking the salary from employee table so what is the minimum value in the previous example so in the salary column what will be the minimum value 4000 so 4000 is an output for this query means it uh, it retrieving the value 4000 from the database table output is minimum of salary is equal to 4000 so this is about the minimum aggregate function now let us see the next function so that is a sum next aggregate function is the sum so what this sum aggregate function will do it returns this sum sum is nothing but addition it perform addition of on some particular data values values so the syntax for this sum is syntax so select sum uh, column name from table name so let me write the example by uh, the syntax by taking the previous example select sum column name salary i'm taking salary from employee table so this structured query language is just like a simple language the name itself saying we are just asking select some salary from employee and here we are mentioning some condition where city is equal to pune means if, if you want you can give the condition if uh, if you didn't give the condition it calculate the total uh, salary amount that is present in the table suppose for this syntax select some salary from employee where city is equal to pune means only the city pune it calculates the salary so 20000 plus 30000 it gives the 50000 so the output for this is 50 000 suppose if you didn't mention the condition select sum salary from employee just you are saying you have to calculate all the uh, values in the salary from employee table here you are not mentioning the uh, condition where city is equal to pune but uh, i'm just writing the select sum salary from employee so what will be the salary from employee you have to calculate you have to make sum on all these items so 20 plus 30 50000 50000 plus 25 75000 75000 uh, plus 5 80000 for 84000 so you will get the output as 84000 so based on the user requirement the user can access the data from database so you're just selecting the with the help of this aggregate function now coming to the next functions see count so what this function will do it returns total number of values in a given column so it just returns total number of values in a given column means in each column how many uh, total number of values that are present in a given uh, column so let me explain that the syntax for this is 
select sorry count here you have to write the column name so which column you want to select you want to count column name from table name so let me write the example for this select count so column name i'm taking the employee id from employee so from employee table i have to calculate the total number of uh, columns means uh, employee ids will be present so here this is employee id so i have to uh, calculate the total number of values in the in this particular column how many total total number of values that are present in the employee id 1 2 3 4 5 so total number 5 employee ids will be there so the output for this is just count employee id is equal to 5 so the output for this is the this aggregate function is the 5 so let us take the last aggregate function that is the count star so what this function will do it returns the number of rows in a table so previously whenever if you didn't mention the star whenever you say the count with empty braces it returns number of values in a particular column okay means it only returns the number of values that are present in a particular column whereas count star it returns the number of rows that are present in a table it taking complete table and it is counting the number of rows whereas count with empty braces only particular column how many values are inserted so that is the difference don't be confused whenever the star is there it calculate the number of rows that are present in the table whereas count with empty brackets indicates returns number of values in a particular column only concentrate on particular column star complete rows the syntax for this is select count star from table name so let me write the example by taking the uh, previous table select count star from employee table so what are the total number of tables the rows that are present in this employee table 1 2 3 4 5 so total number of rows that are present in this is 5 so output is count star is equal to 5 so these are the different aggregate functions thank you